Hey, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Tropical NHL back at it again for a brand new YouTube video. Today we're here and back for Habs reviews. It's been a while. At the end of last year, I did not finish the season with the reviews because everybody was injured. Nobody was watching it anymore. The excitement was at its lowest. So it's been like six or seven months since I have done a review and I couldn't be more excited for this, I've been waiting for a long time. I thought about doing some during the rookie tournament, but I was just like, all right, there's nothing much to talk about. I'm more like into real games. Um, people get excited too much about rookie tournament games. They call young guys busts for absolutely no reason. And they get excited about other players for absolutely no reason. So I did not do that. I just made one video recapping the three games. But now we are back on the good original Habs reviews. And this is the first of the year. Habs fan review. A HFR, man. HFR. Let's call this HFR in honor of Steve Dangle. And yes, we're here today to talk about the game between the Montreal Canadiens and the New Jersey Devils first game of the preseason. There's a lot of things to talk about, but before getting into that, I invite you guys to subscribe if you haven't already or trying to get the 5k subscribers before the start of the regular season we're 500 subscribers away and the season is getting really really close so if you can help me out with that 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 would be absolutely amazing i'm gonna be making reviews like this after every game of the montreal canadians i'm gonna be covering everything that's going on with this team every day for the entire season. So if you want to be updated with everything that's going on with the Habs, I strongly suggest you to subscribe and turn on post notifications. Let's try and get 100 likes for the return of the reviews. Let's get right into it. Roll the intro. All right, so here it is. Montreal Canadiens lose 4-2 to two to the New Jersey Devils. But I mean, it's preseason and uh, the scoreboard is not as important as in the regular season. We're more going to be looking into how the players play, looking at how the young guys are playing, looking at the little details instead of just looking at the final score. I mean, the New Jersey Devils had some pretty good players in their lineup. I mean, they played Hakura Schmidt in net for two periods. They had Jack Hughes. They had... Dawson Mercer, Simon Nemech, uh, Curtis Lazar, John Marino, um, Segan Taller was there to Foley. They, 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 they had a, a good amount of NHL players, pretty decent NHL players. And the Montreal Canadiens had more of some young guys. I mean, the veterans were more of Josh Henderson, Alex Newhook, and still Alex Newhook is still pretty young. The rest of the lineup were practically all rookies or players that played one or two season max in the National Hockey League. So the Canadians had a pretty young lineup. I mean, Jesse Ilanen was one of the players with the most NHL experience in the lineup. So that tells you a lot. Jordan Harris was the older guy on the defense. He was the oldest guy on the defense. So that just shows a lot that the lineup of the Canadians in this game was a young lineup compared to the Devils. The Devils had a lot more veterans, and they had Jack Hughes, who's an actual superstar in the National Hockey League, and he was absolutely amazing tonight for the Devils. As you can see, Josh Anderson scored a goal. Joshua Hua scored a goal. Alex Newhook got an assist. David Reinbacher got an assist. Xavier Simono got an assist, and Jesse Elanen got an assist. No players got two points in this game. So, yes, a couple of players did really, really well in this game. And a lot of young guys have showed why the Montreal Canadiens have such a bright future. I mean, the game was just started and Joshua Wass scored on the power play. Amazing goal. Pretty decent goal for his first ever NHL goal. I mean, it's preseason, but it's still his first NHL goal. I mean, Joshua Wass was one of the best players on the ice. He was blocking shots. He was doing the great little plays defensively, offensively, great first pass, great in transition, great in puck possession. He was just doing everything right in this game in both ends. He scored a goal. 
um, could have easily got two or three points in this game. And he was by far one of the best player for the Montreal Canadiens. Him and Owen Beck played an absolutely amazing game tonight. I mean, this could be the third line of the future. I'm, I'm going to throw it out there. Owen Beck and Joshua Wa are going to be playing together in the near future for the Montreal Canadiens. Owen Beck played really good. I mean, he was amazing on the face-off circle. He was doing everything great on the PK. He was good defensively. He's just doing everything right. And he reminds me a lot of Thomas Plekanec. It reminds me a lot of him. He can play offensively, but he's just doing everything right in his own zone and he's winning face off. So having a guy like him in the future on the third line is going to be really, really good for the Montreal Canadiens. The way Joshua has been acting so far since the start of the rookie camp, I wouldn't be surprised at all if he ends up finding himself a spot on opening night. I mean, he adjusted his play. To be able to play in the NHL, he's a lot better than he was before. He has the right attitude, and yes, he's been doing everything right since the start of the rookie camp. And now playing with professional, he's been even better. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if Joshua Wa ends up making a team and be in the starting lineup for the Montreal Canadiens. I think that out of all the young guys right now in the Canadiens training camp, he's the one that stands out the most. And he's probably the one that has the highest chance on to making the team for the start of the season. And if he doesn't make the team at the start of the season, I'm practically 100% confident that we're going to see him through the season when there's going to be some injuries. Because that guy is close, if not already NHL ready. Later in the game, Rainbacher made a great pass to Josh Anderson, who scored a goal. Rainbacher did really good on that play. He kept it simple. He made the puck go to the net. He shot it to the net. Josh Anderson took the puck and scored a goal. David Rainbacher surprised me a lot in this game. I, mean, I, I wasn't expecting him to be that good. I mean, he looked confident. He looked more comfortable playing in this game than he was at the rookie tournament. He looked more comfortable in this game than he was in the scrimmage during training camp. To be honest, he did not look at all like an 18-year-old playing in the NHL. He looked like a veteran out there. And that's a good thing. That's a really, really good thing for his future. And when I was comparing him to Simon Nemec, even though Simon Nemec scored a goal, I was more impressed by what David Reinbacher was doing on the ice. Great first pass, great in transition. He was doing everything great on the def defensive aspect of the game. He has a couple of mistakes here and there. That's normal. He's still a young guy. There's nervosity factor as well that enters the game. But with another season in Europe that's going to be coming for him, I'm really excited about his future. And I think he's going to be a halves player next season. I've seen a lot of people be pissed off about Uri Sofkovsky in this game, calling him shit. But to be honest, I saw some good things coming out of Uri Sofkovsky in this game. I mean, no, he did not score a goal. No, he did not get a point, but he looked a lot more comfortable on the ice and he looked a lot faster. There's a little bit of an hesitation before he takes a shot, but when he'll get past that, he's going to score a lot of goals because he has a really good shot. When he's in the slot and he has the puck, he needs to shoot it faster. There's a little hesitation, half a second of hesitation that makes his shot getting blocked by the defense but when he's gonna get past that and he's gonna shoot it right when he gets it on his stick he's going to be a lot better he was better in puck circling as well um he was better in transition making better first passes he impressed me a lot he was better than he was last year so if he can continue to progress on that line i think that your is is gonna have a pretty decent season no, he was not bad. He's not going to score every night. He's still only 19 years old. What's important is that we saw some progression when we compared him to last season. That's the best part of it. And I can't wait to see his progression throughout the rest of preseason and during the season as well. Really excited for Uri Sofkowski. The other guys, for the most part, did really, really well. I was not a big fan of Alex Newhook playing the center position. I feel like he has a better profile to play on the wing since he's faster, I think, he would be benefiting a lot more from playing on the wing than playing as a center. He has a good one-timer and he's fast. So playing him on the wing, I think, would be a lot better for him. He wasn't bad. He was really good. Got a lot of chances. He's fast. 
He's doing a lot of things, right? So you guys are going to be a big fan of Alex Newhook, but why number 15? Every time I see number 15, I think of Jesper Kakademi, Brady Kachuk, and I get pissed off. So why did you pick number 15? We should remove number 15 out of the uh, of this team. Remove number 15 out of this team. I don't want to see any players wear that number ever again, all right? 21 minutes for Logan Mayu. He did a lot of things right. He did some things wrong, but like I said, he's still young. I don't think he's ready to play in the NHL, but he's really close. Playing a season in the AHL would help him a lot, in my opinion. So if, if I was the Montreal Canadiens, I would send him down to the AHL. Even if he gets better, he's in the right path right now. We started really slow at the rookie tournament. He got a lot better during that tournament. Got a lot better during scrimmage. And tonight, it was a lot better as well. So he's on the right path. He's going like this. But for his confidence, I would send him down to the Laval Rocket at least for the start of the season. As for Jakob Dobesh, he looked a bit too hyperactive in front of his net. He was moving a bit too much, not dialed in. He was just looking a bit nervous, in my opinion. He still did some pretty good saves. We can see the potential in him. I want to see him get some more time during this preseason, and I want to see him go a lot of games for the Laval Rock at this season. So yes, this was my Habs review for today. Let me know what you guys all think about this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, share, do anything as you want. It's been your boy Tropical, and I'll see y'all later for another video. Have a nice rest of your day, and bye-bye.